Thank you, Linda. And uh, we know we're running short on time, so I'm going to rush through the last few slides here, and uh, and we'll finish up. Um, thank you for questions coming in. Uh, we will uh, provide, we will summarize those and prov try to provide answers to them even after the webinar. Um, uh, so you can look for those at the webinar posting. Um, looking at some current field data, so there have been some investigations by states and other entities uh, looking at sites that have been identified, farm sites that have been identified with relatively high PFAS levels. Again, the, no, the numbers in the soil are, are, some are shown here for this particular site, um, and we're seeing up to, well, in this particular site, up to 878 parts per billion in the soil from some kind of uh, past source uh, still under investigation. But one of the uh, details that uh, we're thinking about is whether um, whether there's uh, PFAS in manure. And yes, it can cycle in manures. Um, these particular numbers here uh, tested at this one site found um, up to 20 parts per billion in the manure. Um, and uh, the ultimate source of how it got there is, is still under investigation. Um, looking at uh, some uh, a nice set of data that developed in the state of Maine, um, we're seeing uh, that places where biosolids had been used for multiple years, many years of ongoing biosolids application on farms, uh, with using biosolids that are kind of typical, uh, not industrially impacted, um, that, that this is, these are the kinds of levels we see in those soils. So these are in parts per billion, uh, you know, uh, up to 20 uh, for PFOS, which tends to stick in the soil more than PFOA. Um, and uh, again, these are above some of the screening values. Some of the numbers are above the screening values, but um, but they are in the low uh, parts per billion levels. Um, similar situation in Vermont um, at, at a site where septage was land applied for many years, and this is actually showing groundwater data. So we're comparing it to Vermont has a standard for groundwater of 20 parts per trillion for the sum of five PFAS, as shown in the upper right. But uh, and some of these numbers are up as high as 176 parts per trillion. Again, these aren't the kind of screaming high numbers that we see at industrial and firefighting sites, but um, but they are of concern. Uh, there's a farm in uh, or farm situations in Wisconsin uh, impacted by biosolids that had some industrial impacts. Um, again, groundwater impacts being found, drinking water wells being impacted in a couple instances, but again, uh, only one was above the EPA health advisory. So of concern, but not at the screaming levels of industrial or firefighting activities. A couple of uh, sites in Maine uh, being investigated. Here we had milk that was at a very high level, and this is under investigation, and uh, details are not, not well understood at this point. Um, but uh, this, has, this concern on farms in New England has, and there's three or four of them total, out of hundreds that have used biosolids and other uh, applied manures and other materials over many years. Um, in comparison, we have, um, they've studied, looked at the soil and on a bunch of farms using typical biosolids. And again, the, the soil tends to be in the low parts per billion. And milk has been ex examined closely and is, uh, is found not to be uh, above the screening value value that Maine has established. So it is a concern, um, but not, a, not, not having huge impact on the milk uh, supply, which is great. Um, Michigan also has some information. I'll encourage you to come look at the slides more closely, these last ones. I'll stress at this point that there are many unknowns, um, and research is ongoing. And Dr. Lee has talked about some of her research. She's doing some of the front edge research uh, on that. Um, there are things that we know and things that we don't know, um, and uh, uh, we're, we're going to continue uh, learning over the years to come. There's a project here that is uh, under the Water Research Foundation, which is looking at soil column and leaching of PFAS.